name is Emmeline and today I'm going to show you how to make sprinkles. And this is really good if you're like at your house and you realize you have no sprinkles left. So this is what they look like and if you want to learn how to make them then just keep watching. So what we're going to do first is mix one tablespoon of warm water with a teaspoon of um, just egg whites. So that's basically like a powder, but if you don't have it in the powder form, then you can just use um, an actual egg white, which I'm doing. So I'm also going to add almond extract to this, and I'm just going to add a fourth of a teaspoon. And you can get kind of creative with this, and you can add peppermint, maybe it's around Christmas time, or any um, flavor that you want. and it will make the sprinkles a little bit different and kind of fun. So now we're just going to mix this together. So now we're going to add two cups of confectioner sugar and you want to make sure that it's sifted because if it's not it can really make um, everything all clumpy. And I had already actually started to make it and I forgot to sift it so that's why there's already sugar on the outside of the bowl. Okay, so now we can add this mixture into there. And just start mixing it together. And as you're mixing it, you're going to find that it looks a little bit clumpy. So you're going to want to keep water by you so you can keep adding water. And I'd probably just add like half a teaspoon at a time. This is the consistency that it should be, and um, I think in total I probably added maybe like a fourth of a cup of water, but it really depends um, on the day that it is. It might be more humid here today than it is at your house, so you may need more or less, so definitely just take it slow, and um, yeah, because it could totally be different and you might not need the same amount. So I'm just going to use this um, pink um, color from Wilton and I'm going to make this mixture pink. And now um, I just have my piping bag, so I'm just going to use the number two tip. So now we're just going to fill our bag, so I'm just going to put it into a cup to make it a little bit easier. Okay, so now we can take our bag out. And by the way, I will put this, um, the link to the recipe and how to do it. Um, down below and I got it from this very cute website. Okay, so now so what we're going to do is just pipe lines across. So here are my um, icing strips, and they said, um, and the website says to let them sit for 20 to 24 hours so they can fully harden. So I have like this whole bag still to pipe, so this definitely makes plenty of sprinkles. So I'm going to keep piping and let these sit again for 20 to 24 hours, and then I will show you what to do after that. So this sheet is already hardened and it hardened for um, a little over 24 hours. So it's um, the pieces are going to be just like very um, hard, obviously, and they're kind of brittle. So you want to be careful with them. Sorry, my 
my dog is coughing. But, um, so now all you have to do is just cut the pieces into the size sprinkles that you want. So this is what the sprinkles look like once they're cut. And now I'm just going to put them into a jar. So I think it looks really cute when you put them in a little jar. And it's a cute little easy gift for somebody. So for these next sprinkles, these are super, super easy to make. And it's kind of if you're maybe home making cupcakes or cookies or something and you realize that you don't have any fun sprinkles, um, this is just something really easy to do. So what you need is just some granulated sugar, have um, normal type of food coloring. Like if you only have these gel types, um, it's not really going to work that well. And it will kind of just like sit in um, the sugar and just clump together instead of mixing throughout it. So what I did was I put some of the gel food coloring in a little bottle. And I put some water in and then I put it in the microwave for a few seconds. So now it is a liquid. And just mix it up. I just mix that up and now I'm going to do this one blue. So once the um, sugar is on the plate or the tray or whatever you put it on, you can just let it sit out for 30 minutes and it will get very hard and crunchy like this. So I'm just going to put it into plastic bags and kind of just bang it out so that it gets back to little small crystals. I'm just going to cut the tip off of the end so then I can just put it into this bottle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and definitely let me know if you tried out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time.